had last left the Chosen One. They were back at the Super Reactor, seeking out a way to resolve the problems of Gecko, and in, in conclure, also tangentially, the problems at Vault City. It involved using the Super Terminal to activate a cool robot that would hopefully repair the reactor's messed up problems. Thankfully, they were able to do exactly that, but also had a call with a very strange and angry figure on the terminal. How did they do that with such a terminal? Nobody really knows, but now it was time to hopefully resolve more issues for Gecko, like fully optimizing the reactor atomic plant, super plant 500. This is Fallout 2. Welcome back. Now, of course, the big thing that we have to contend with is going down here in the shack and talking with the rat god, or I guess we already know a rat god. Well, we did. Or was it rat king or rat god? Whoever it was. Some kind of ultra rat. We have to talk to them, but we know that we will probably miss out on some sort of fun and super memorable science check. So maybe we put that off, we try to do as much as possible elsewhere, and then loop back around? Since we don't- we effectively don't have a time limit unless we really fuck around a lot? I think maybe... hmm... Maybe we scout around Gecko? And like, we try to go wrap up some junk over at Vault City? And maybe even go get our car, right? Because we're going to have to make that run eventually anyway, all the way back to uh, Klamath or the Den, wherever Smitty is at. I think Smitty's at the Den, right? Klamath? Yeah. So it's got to be, yeah, the Den. Yeah, because we've got the car part now. We need only go back. Hmm. Okay, I think that's our plan of action, right? We'll- we'll scout around here, around Gecko. See if, upon turning in the quest, we maybe get, like, an alternate solution? By turning it into, uh, that, like, piece of shit at Vault City? There we go. And maybe we'll get, like, some extra cool XP by- by way of doing that. But also, we can check in with McClure and company about further optimizing the plant, I think, right? I don't- I don't remember what they said we could do to get our citizenship pass. I think it was just fixing the water situation, right? I think that was it. Okay. So do we have any reason to go to the courtyard? I guess we could. There could be some more alcohol here. I hate this place. So says Cassidy. Alright. Yeah, let's check Happy Harry's real fast. We can even pawn off a little bit of junk if we need to. There we are. Looking to trade. What have you got? Grenade. Hey, there we go. Perfect. Okay. Anything else? Hmm. 44. I don't- I don't really need it, though. I mean, we could buy more dynamite. We could do that. But I feel like we ought to just pass it up for now, you know? I feel like we ought to. Let's see, do I have anything to sell off, actually, on my person right now? Yeah, I got some drugs. <laughs> okay. Huh. Crowbars aren't consumable, so we may as well get rid of one. Right? How about this? Should I get rid of some of the 44? Or even the 223? I feel like we could stand to lose, like, two units of 44. Or three, even. There we are. Okay. So then, what's our final price gonna be? It's like... 198? Oh shit. Okay. <laughs> okay, so six more need to go away. Perfect. 
That's a good trade. Done. Now, did Cassidy have anything? Because we can also get rid of that. But only if Cassidy had something small. Let's see, another weapon. Man, we have so many shotgun shells. Okay. And we have an extra shovel, which they also don't seem to get consumed. Okay. Maybe we ditch some shells. Let's take all these. How much will they give me for shotgun shells here? All right. Also, how much extra do they have still? 167. Okay. Let's just do a quick trade. All right, down here. Oh, whoops. I forgot again I can scroll. Look at that. We broke 10 grand. Hell yeah. Okay. Where'd our other shovel go? There we go. Let's get, definitely get rid of that. And then, we could probably get rid of, like, I don't know. How many is that? Yeah, that's fine. Oh, shit, that's... Okay. <laughs> Alright, that's a little overkill. How about one unit? Ooh, that's almost perfect. Okay. One, six, one. Great. Offer. Good trade. Done. Okay, we could even pick up more stims and junk over at, uh the amenities, you know? Alright, we have to do this little number again. Let's see, do we have any other narcotics that we need to drop? No, because all of this is, uh, fine. Okay. Good. And then, if we just interact with it, we get the prompt, right? Yeah, here you go! Okay. Frisk me. Yep, I'm clean. Just kidding, asshole. <laughs> and guess what? I've got the most fucked up dog in the universe following me too. A more potent drug you have never seen. <laughs> okay, let's turn this in real quick before I forget. There we are. We're just gonna have to do a few squats here. It's how we keep our endurance stats so high. <laughs> there we go. We're busting out the fucking Ring Fit Adventure right here. Hell yeah. My god, we've got a lot. There we are. <laughs> okay. Let's do a quick save just in case something horrible happens. Alright. Lydia! I have that shipment of alcohol you wanted. Excellent! Here's something for you. That amounts double the price the cases are worth. And this transaction never happened, alright? No problem. Hey, I was looking for some information. Thanks. Pleasure doing business with you. We got 250 for it. XP, that is. I don't even know how much money we got, but that's irrelevant. Alright, I was looking for some information. Is there anything new? What have you got on tap? Okay, same stuff. Do you have anything new for barter? No, nothing at all. Okay. Okay. Sure. Alright, I'll pass, thanks. Let's go over here and check these. Oh, I forget! Is the dude I'm looking for- yeah, they're over here, right? Inside of, like, this building or this one? Okay. What have you got? Barter real quick. Anything good? Anything new? A sledge. All right, I think we pawn off more shells. Okay, let's go for three. Two! Okay. I guess we're just selling one. <laughs> Man, who'd have thought? Shotgun shells are valuable as hell. Okay. Good, offer, done. And you didn't- you didn't have anything else I wanted, right? Yeah, we've got rope already. Alright, nothing today, thanks. Now here... Hopefully you've got, like, some stims or something. Yeah, perfect. 
Okay. Now if I go to pawn out, oh, fuck, I keep doing it. <laughs> All right. Let's let's do 5 units worth. Okay. So that's 1125. We'll take two stims and then we'll we'll do the rest here. Actually, maybe I yeah, I'll give you one more stack of of junk. All right. There we are. Oh, whoops. It's close enough. 40. Good. All right. That's a good trade. Oh, I could also give you this extra beer. Will you actually buy it? Wow, yo, you will. Okay. Don't tell anyone where you got this. Good. Offer. Okay. Goodbye. All right. Good, good, good. And then... Where is this piece of shit, like, head of security? Can I just be like, yeah, I got your information, and I'm not gonna give it to you? Oh. That ain't... That ain't them. Okay. Maybe they're over here? Oh, they definitely are. Yeah, there you are. Sergeant Stark. You're back again! You lost, or do you need something? Oh, you the one who busted up Cassidy's bar? Oh, okay. I surveyed the area around Gecko for you. Well, does this- this could auto-complete it, and if that's the case, we'll load our other save. Good job! Download the information into my Pip-Boy, and I'll log it into the patrol computers. Alright. His intelligence looks good. Well done. Here's your payment. Three hundred dollars. Alright then. You got any more work for me? Great. I had some other questions. Thanks. Pleasure doing business with you. Any more work for me? Yeah, actually, I need someone to travel to NCR. Lately I've been hearing reports that the Republic might be building up military strength. True or not, I need someone to plot a route to NCR and report back. Just travel to NCR, then come back? That's all I need. I'm more interested in the route than the Republic itself, but I'll still need you to enter the city once you get there. I'll take the job. I'll report back when I'm done. I'll take the job. I had some questions before I left, however. Before I left? Okay, never mind. Yeah, I don't want to live in a world where I've done that. Right. Okay, here we are. Excellent. But I do want to confront them about... Cassidy's bar. I feel like maybe this is an option that we only get because Cassidy is with us? I'm not sure, though. Okay. Making sure Cassidy is close as possible for when we activate. Okay, you the one who busted up Cassidy's bar? Maybe your friend Cassidy there didn't tell you that he had illegal substances on the premises. And his license for alcohol distribution had expired. You forget to tell your friend here that, Cassidy? Cassidy says he was all paid up and you raided his place anyway. Cassidy was guilty of possession without a license. He doesn't like it, he can leave Vault City. That's simple. You know... I think my fist and your face are about to have a conversation. What happens if we say that? Let's see what happens. You know, I think my fist and your face are about to have a conversation. Just try it. I look forward to putting trash like you and Cassidy in their place. Fine. I was looking forward to kicking your ass anyway. Wow, we can actually get in a real ass fight, I think. I'm assuming, like, if we do this, we're gonna be in deep shit in town. But we have no other recourse to either drop it or just go ahead. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Assu oh, yeah, he's calling for backup. Ain't no way I can take on everybody. <laughs> right. Okay. How much health does he have? A hundred? I'm not even sure if I can kill him. Right. Like, if he's- if he's calling for guards, for sure, we're fucked. Okay. There we are. Oh. 
Okay. I'm just gonna hold tight. Let's see how many turns the enemy takes. Probably a bazillion, right? Oh, shit! Okay. Stark was critically hit for 52 HP, knocking the air out. He slumps to the ground out of the fight. Oh my god. Look at all this. Stark also taking some measure of friendly fire. <laughs> Look at them! So many of them are losing their shit. Okay. Oh, is he dead? Yeah, he is dead. Huh. Oh no, wait, no he's not. I can still loot him. Yeah, he's got 14. Can I end combat? No. Alright. Yeah. <laughs> In the interest of content, right? Of seeing all that the game has to offer. We will hold off on doing that. Even though we very well might be able to do something there. Let's see. Do you have anything new to say, Thomas Moore? Okay. I want to hear the word. Amen. I hear you. Okay, how can I prove my devotion? Amen. Perhaps so. Keep the faith. No, nothing. All right. Let's go check in with McClure. Move this over as well. Now that I think of it. Get reloaded as well. Oh, can't reload it. Oh, probably because I've got a different ammo type in there. Let's fix that. Did I do it? There we are. Gotta fully take out everything. And then pop it in there. Good. Okay. Fantastic. Now let's check in with McClure. Alright. We'll do a quick save. Just as before. Wonderful. Alright. Over here. Hey, McClure. Anything new? Yes. Was there something else you wanted? I, can I ask you some questions? Okay. I've repaired Gecko's plant. Excellent. I was worried that the radiation buildup might force us to relocate. You are to be commended on a job well done. Here's your citizenship papers. If you ever need anything, come see me. Vault City prevails, Counselor. Okay. Let's say I need some help optimizing. So now we've got our fucking papers. Alright, can I ask you some questions? Of course, Citizen. What is it you would like to know? I found a way to optimize the Gecko reactor. What is it? I have a reactor data disk here from Gecko. According to the uh, technician at the power plant, the Vault City computer can optimize the reactor disk and make the plant run more smoothly. Very well, citizen. You have my permission to use the vault computer and optimize the reactor disk. You can find it in the third level of the vault, near the operations room. Excellent. Thank you, counselor. I'll go do that. Awesome. Okay. Can I ask you some questions? Anything else? No. You don't have anything to barter, right? Okay, nothing today. Can we go, like, show our papers off to, uh, Lynette? Can I inspect my papers, even? Where even are my papers? Did I actually get papers? There's a day pass. Huh. Maybe it's not like a real physical object. Oh, maybe the papers are on my pip. Archives? No? Well, I got the papers nonetheless, right? We should be fine. Okay. Now, let's do a quick save. What do you have to say? Yes? What is it? About the Gecko power plant. Have you resolved the situation? I took care of Gecko's power plant. You shouldn't have any more trouble with it leaking radiation. So, you disabled their plant? Ugh, why is she so sadistically happy about the idea? No, I repaired it. Counselor McClure gave me the part I needed, and that was enough to get the plant running properly. 
It's all taken care of. Ooh, do we want to tell her? What if we just lie by omission? I like that we have the option here. Yeah, let's lie by omission. Yeah, it's all taken care of. Excellent. You have conducted yourself as a true vault citizen. Well, that's good to hear, so... Oh, nothing. Yes? Okay. What is it? Had some questions I wanted to of ask course. you. What can I help you with, citizen? Okay. I ran into this citizen downtown, Thomas Moore. Who is he? Should I ask about this? Did, did we already? Thomas Moore, who is he? Moore. He's a troublemaker. That's what he is. Okay. Why do you say he's a troublemaker? He constantly seeks to convince the citizens to turn Vault City into a democracy, as he calls it. With everyone having a say in laws and decision making. I call it mob rule. How does he try and convince the citizens? He sounds like a problem. How about I take care of him? Can't you just kick him out? I had some other questions. Oh, well, thanks for the information. I am curious why they don't just kick him out then. Yeah, why don't you just kick him out? Like, I don't want them to, but I'm curious why they don't. Can you just kick him out? Although it would serve Vault City's interests, I can't. As long as he breaks no laws, Moore is permitted to say anything he wants. Okay, how long until they change the laws, though? Well, he'll probably bury himself at the rate he's going. Talk to you later. Can I ask you another question? Yes, of okay. course. What can I help you with, citizen? No, I'm pretty sure we asked about all this, didn't we? Maybe not the Thomas More situation, though. I remember asking about the slavery situation. She got really pissed about it. All right, nothing today, thanks. Do you want to barter? No. Okay. Sure. Maybe we would have been handed our citizen papers after that little moment, but it didn't do anything because, like, there wasn't a... What would you call it? There wasn't... There wasn't, like, any voice acting and animation in place for me having done this permutation of, like, events. So we didn't get anything, so just cut off. Because it did feel kind of abrupt. Alright. Well, I definitely want to look in here. And evidently, they've got quite the vendor selection. And hey, we got a shitload of money now, too. Okay. What's up? I'd like to enter the vault. Of course. Please pass through. Great. Okay. And now we don't have to worry about the security check coming into the inner section, right? Okay. How's it look here? We must open the gates of Vault City and embrace the outside world. Be oop. Alright. Yeah, it's set up like uh, most vaults that we know. Sure. Nothing out of the ordinary. Oh, is there going to be good stuff in here in the locker? Let's do a quick save. Take a quick peek. Oh, yeah. Take all that. What's this here? Is this also a locker? No. Computer. Can interact with it. Huh. Does nothing. Okay. Who are you? You see a thin young woman. She smells faintly of antiseptic. Better try Dr. Troy on that seminar tomorrow for tomorrow. Phyllis, could you bring me a hard copy of Helen's file, please? Is this Phyllis? Oh, hello there. I haven't seen you around before. Are you a new citizen? Yeah, I just recently got my citizenship. Sorry, I thought you were someone else. Good day. Yeah, I just got my citizenship. Well, welcome to Vault City, fellow citizen. We don't see many new faces around here. I'm Phyllis. What's your name? I'm Lyle. My name's Lyle Schnub. What do you do around here? I'm Lyle Schnub. Mind if I ask you some questions? If I wanted to give you my name, I would have told it to you. Syphilis, or whatever the hell your name is. <laughs> Okay. Sorry, I don't have time to talk right now. Hmm. Can we do a quick barter? Nah. 
What do you do around here? I'm the resident medical assistant. I work for Dr. Troy. Can I ask you some questions? Great. I could use some medical assistance. Sorry, I don't have time to talk right now. Can I ask you some questions? Of course. What is it you would like to know? Can you tell me where the central computer is? I need some healing. What do you do here? Can you tell me about Vault City? Actually, never mind. Thanks anyway. Tell me where the central computer is? It's down on the third level, if I remember correctly. Haven't been down there in ages. Why not? Is there like fucked up monsters down there? Oh, I don't know. Not much reason to go down into the vault. It's mostly used for storage space nowadays. The only one down there is Martin. And, well, just between you and me, he's not a great conversationalist. Yeah, maybe he's hiding something. Something real shocking. Can I ask you another question? Of course. Well, what is it you would like to know? Hmm. Do I need healing? I don't think so. I need some healing. Oh my, you are hurt, aren't you? I'm sorry, I should have been paying more attention. Go see Dr. Troy, he'll take care of you. Okay, can I ask you questions first? What do you do here? Okay, same as before. More questions. Can you tell me about Vault City? Vault City? Well, actually, there's not much to say. I mean, I've been a citizen all my life, but there's not much to do in Vault City. At all. Nothing at all. Come on. Look, I know you're a new citizen and all, and I don't mean to throw a damper on your citizenship, but this city can be very dull at times. Dull? How so? I mean, have you noticed how similar everyone is? And old! Most of the seminars and extracurricular activities are geared towards octogenarians. I'm barely 25, and this city makes me feel like I'm 50. Speaking of old, I notice there aren't any children in the city. I did notice the similarity of citizens. Oh, well, just thought I'd ask. Huh. Okay. They're similar, then. Interesting. Uh, speaking of old, I notice there aren't any children in the city. Well, yes. Actually, there aren't. Yet. I don't know if anyone told you yet. Vault City is a planned community. We're not due for another pregnancy cycle until a few years from now. Uh, a pregnancy cycle? Yes, pregnancies are permitted only during certain years established by the council. What if you get pregnant anyway? How would that happen? Uh, lest I heard sex can make someone pregnant. Oh, you mean intercourse. Intercourse is still allowed outside of pregnancy cycles. Oh, how are you getting pregnant then? <laughs> Doesn't that make people pregnant? Oh, no, no. You see, our pregnancies don't result from intercourse. I'm afraid to ask, but I will anyway. I don't want to know anymore. I had some other questions, though. I think I've heard enough. Are they using the GEC to, like cause some sort of geck bound inception I'm afraid to ask but I will anyway male citizens donate to the auto dock here in the vault and the most favorable matches are chosen by the computer then the appropriate female citizen is seated by the auto dock oh they're just really serious about eugenics right Man, we were fucking spot on earlier. They're like, they're like doing eugenics for real, for real. Can I donate? <laughs> uh, don't people still get pregnant from intercourse? What about accidental pregnancies? You know, I would very much like to ask you any other question right now. Would you excuse me? I'm going to go see if I can get my citizenship revoked. <laughs> I think I'm going to go somewhere and be violently ill. Goodbye. Can I donate? Certainly. We'd welcome your contribution. Vault City could use some fresh genetic material. All right, then. Say, could I get a magazine or something? 
You have given Vault City a donation and introduced fresh genetic material into their community? <gasps> Yo! Okay. How does this go if you, like, picked a woman at character creation? <laughs> I've never felt the need to be held more than at this moment. <laughs> okay. Hey, Phyllis. Let's see. Can you tell me more about the city? What question? Dull house, so. Okay, speaking of old pregnancy cycle. Okay, sex, yep. Does that make people pregnant? I will anyway. Okay, here we go. Let's see. Huh. Oh. Don't people still get pregnant from intercourse? Maybe it's just because they don't have much real sex around here. Oh well, just thought I'd ask. Yeah, maybe it's just because they don't have much real sex around here. Oh, no, no, no. You see, our pregnancies don't result from intercourse. Okay, I'm afraid to ask, but I will anyway. Huh, I think we're just looping, right? Yeah, alright, just thought I'd ask. Was there something else that we could ask, though? Nothing at all? Dull? I did notice the similarity of citizens. It's like they're all clones. They all dress alike, act alike, and the worst part is that everybody seems happy with it. I, well, sometimes I worry that I'll end up being just like them. That probably sounds silly, huh? Oh, well, just thought I'd ask. At first, I was kind of wondering if it was a cloning situation. Maybe it still is, right? Because we don't know what the auto dock situation entirely is, right? We don't know exactly how it's going down. Okay, let's do a quick save. You see a middle-aged man in a white lab coat. He looks preoccupied. Right. Another request for a list of medical supplies? I just submitted one yesterday. All right, bulletproof glass. It is worth, like, considering the fact that, like... And I guess this is another way in which Fallout 2 is kind of showing its its age, right? Like, part of the commentary that it's got here on this situation is, like, good, right? Like, <laughs> like yeah, analyzing and criticizing folks who are really into eugenics or people who are in such a system and can't even see their own way out. That's totally good shit, but also, like... It is worth considering that there's people who purposefully elect to get pregnant by way of, like, a medical procedure or whatever, right? And they are still very happy about it, right? Because the options that we had there make it seem like, oh, disgusting, what a freak, or whatever, right? When instead, like, you could have, like, totally valid and normal-ass reasons for doing it, and it could still be a beautiful thing, right? The problem here is that they're engaging in eugenics, right? That's the problem, <laughs> right? They're engaging in wide-scale eugenics uh, upon this entire community and uh, in trying to enforce it upon and upon the outside world and just being overall very bigoted toward other folks. All right, let's see. Dr. Troy. Hello, I'm Dr. Troy. Uh, how may I be of assistance? I'm looking for the main computer. Can you tell me where it is? What is it you do here? Just passing through. Thanks. Barter? No. I'm looking for the main computer. Can you tell me where it is? The main computer? It's down on the third level. Just take the elevator down. Walk straight until you hit the T intersection. Then make the first left. That'll take you right to the control room. What is it you do here? Thanks. Okay. Down the third level, take the elevator down, walk straight until you hit the T-intersection. Then make the first left. Oh, good lord. I mean, we'll just explore anyway, right? We'll just explore around regardless. Okay, what is it you do here? I am Vault City's primary physician. I take care of all the citizens within Vault City and do my best to keep everyone healthy. I'm looking for the main computer. Can you tell me where it is? I see. Maybe we'll talk later then. Are we just going to loop around? Yeah. 
Okay, what is it you do here? Barter? No. Oh. Hold on a moment. I don't recall seeing you around before. Are you a citizen? Man, this is totally like, um, prompting opportunities for us to get caught in the act. If we snuck in here somehow. Right? But because we did, um, the quest, and we, like, got a loophole around a citizenship, and, like, the proper papers were totally cool. Okay. Sorry, I wanted to say good and cool at the same time, and it came out like ghoul. <laughs> we're totally- we're totally- we're totally ghoul, smooth skin. Alright. Yeah, I just got by- got my citizenship papers only recently. Uh, sure. I am. No, I'm not. We can lie. We can implicate ourselves. Yeah, I just got my citizenship papers only recently. You're not a Vault City native, though. Am I right? I'm certain I would remember someone like you. Where are you from? From a small village to the west, Arroyo. Why do you want to know? None of your business, doctor. Can I go now? Or do you have more questions for me? I would like to discuss my past. Wow, this guy, like, has his robot jack me off and take my semen and now wants to know where I'm from? Sheesh. Okay. Why do you want to know? I'm sorry to pry. I was just looking for someone who had traveled beyond the walls of Vault City. Most citizens here have never left the city. Looking for someone? Why? That's fascinating. What's that got to do with me? Hmm. I mean, both of these... This comes off... The second one comes off as a little condescending, but the first one comes off as a little presumptive. We'll go with presumptive, in the hopes of not, like, angering a potential quest giver. Looking for someone? Why? I've been looking for someone who might be able to perform a special errand for me. What is it? It has come to my attention that there is a new drug in the wastes. It's called Jet, I believe. I'm willing to pay a thousand dollars for a sample of this drug. So you want me to smuggle some jet into Vault City for you? That should be easy enough. What do you want me to do? Not interested, thanks. Let's not implicate ourselves. What do you want me to do? It would be helpful to me and my work if you could bring me a sample of this drug. I'll pay you all a thousand dollars for the delivery. But it is of utmost importance that you keep this transaction confidential. Uh, confidential? Oh, really? How much are you going to pay me to keep silent? I could turn you in right now. What do you want the jet for? No problem. You can count on me. I'm not interested. Let's extort him for more money. <laughs> He's a doctor. He's got money. Shit. Oh, really? How much are you going to pay me to keep silent? I could turn you in right now. What? You wouldn't. How dare you threaten me? Whoa, calm down. I was just asking. No need to panic. I would and I will. How much is your citizenship worth to you? I found the waste can be pretty rough on a person. Whoa, calm down. This is not something to be joking about. This is a very serious matter. I will pay you a thousand dollars for the jet. Your silence, and no more questions. Do you want the job? Uh, what's it to keep me from turning you in right now? Sure, I'll do it. I'm not interested. Sure, I'll do it. Excellent. Return here when you have obtained the jet sample. I will have your payment ready. Deal. I had some other questions. Other questions? Hmm. Oh. About that jet you wanted. I think the other citizens might like to know about it, too. Oh, oh, okay, I see. Oh, hold, so, oh, okay, okay, sure, I'll do it. Okay, I'll be back with the jet. Didn't we just sell some to some, like, vendor lord out here? Can we go over and, like, check it out? I swear those medical databases are talking amongst themselves. All right, let's head back out here real quick. And see if we can get some of the sweet drugs. There we are. Good. That's a vault. Big friggin' thing, in it? <laughs> so says Cassidy. 
Okay. Let's see. Where is the amenities building? Oh, here we go. I forget which one we sold the drugs to. It may have even been at Harry's. Okay, let's see here. Barter. Yeah, in fact, I'm pretty sure it was at Harry's that we sold the drugs. Was that Jet? I'm pretty sure it was Jet. Nothing today. Okay. We can do our old little fun method for getting stuff in and out. There we are. I feel like it ought to work, no matter what. Here we are. Happy Harry's. Good. And then do a quick barter. Yeah, that's Jet. Okay. Great. Good. Get rid of this. Here, we can get rid of both of these flares, I guess. Oh, Cat's Paw Magazine. That's pornography? Shit. Okay. Let's see. Let's get 20 gold or money. Oh, shit. We can't. Okay. Well, I guess we'll do the best we can. <laughs> there we are. That's a good trade. All right, nothing today. If we are a citizen, they don't check us, right? Let's pop a quick save. Like we can get in and out scot-free or are they going to frisk us? Uh, yeah, we're fine. Do we even need to talk to the guards here at the front? We may not need to. We might just be able to come and go as we please. Okay, cool. Got a nice shipment of fresh drug. Okay. Maybe he'll rat us out. Could you imagine that? What a piece of shit. Okay. Hello, citizen. How may I be of assistance? Let's see. I got the jet you wanted. Excellent. Thank you, my friend. You have no idea how important this is to my work. Here is your payment, as promised. Great. Before I go, I had some other questions. I'm in need of your medical expertise. Oh, I've been irradiated. Very well. Just let me check your vital signs. Lean back and we'll hook you up to the auto dock here. Oh, great. That should fix you up nicely. How do you feel? Much better. I had some questions for you. Okay, never mind. Nothing today, doctor. Did we actually get the money? It didn't say we received any, but it tends not to. Yeah, it looks like we did. What a shame, I thought we'd get XP for it. Okay. Let's hit a quick save. Alright. Apologies, by the way, if you can hear this, like, uh... revving engine being picked up on on the microphone right now. Uh, not much I can do about it! <laughs> Alright. Let's go on over here. Good. Are we on the first floor, I presume? Yeah. There we are. Second floor. Great. Oh my gosh. Huh. Well, there is not much going on here. I thought the third floor had all the weird stuff in it and all that, you know? Let's see. Pop this. This door's stuck. It'd take a very strong person to open it. Hey, aren't I strong enough? I got six. Maybe I can pick it or something? Hmm. This is a typical vault door. It looks like its power couplings are stuck. Oh, can I repair it? Can I? It's not giving me an error message. Weird. Okay. How would I even use a strength check on it? Hmm. I'm guessing science ain't gonna work. Yeah. Okay. Can I, like, crowbar it open? And make the strength check lessened? Well. <laughs> it was worth a shot. Uh, can I use on... 
There we are. No, no dice. We just need a higher strength rating to get in there, I guess. Okay. I'm assuming we can't have, like, a follower do it for us, right? It's extremely weird to me that nobody is down here. That is extremely strange and creepy. I was anticipating, like, a whole bunch of vendors and stuff, but really, there's... <laughs> is there just three people? Is it just Phyllis, Dr. Troy, and Creepy Martin in the third level? That can't be, right? That cannot be. Okay. Because Phil the way Phyllis was talking, she made it sound like everyone down in here looked different. Or looked similar, right? But there's no one to look at. Alright, let's try this. Oh gosh. It's two, huh? Yeah. Can I still pick like this? Yeah. Good, good, good. Alright, it's been picked. What's inside? A green screen display monitor showing various bits of data. A few bytes occasionally show up. Oh. A <laughs> water chip! <laughs> okay. Yeah, this is a vault water chip. They are typically packaged in groups of five to a box. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> okay, yeah, I almost forgot about that. Yeah, that's great. What a- what a great little touch. That's- that's incredibly fucking good. How much are they worth? I- I hope they're, like, really cheap. Right? Like, they're worth shit, because it's like, yeah, we got loads of them. What do you want me to do? <laughs> Fuck yeah. That's- that's awesome. Alright. That's a good-ass Fallout-ass joke. Okay. Fuck yeah. I love it. Man, if uh, Vault 13 is actually in this game and we end up going back there, obviously that's like a fun little loop around connectivity between the games. But what if we could take it there and something happened? Oh, a motion sensor. A Watts Electronic CU model motion sensor detects movement of biological material over a distance of meters using a tuned radar device. Having one in your inventory will also help you avoid outdoor encounters. Plus 20% outdoorsman skill. Oh. Well, great. I'll take that. Just having it in the old inventory is enough? What the hell is this? Computer voice module? A circuit board with several unidentifiable parts, a microphone, and an inscription that reads Vault Tech Voice Recognition Module. I'm taking that as well. Looks like some kooky sci-fi shit. Alright. How about over here? Yeah, this one ain't locked. Alright. Nothing. It is incredibly disconcerting how they're- Oh! Big Book of Science! Hell yes! Alright, you know what? Let's just take all. Everything in there is good. Yes, please. Watch us read this and bunches of people will have shown up. They're just, at, like, out somewhere. <laughs> no? Still nobody. What's our science at now? 35. Is it, like, 28 before, huh? Ooh. We may yet be able to interact with the Rat God. Or Rat King. Or the Rat Father. Okay. Over here. Pop this open. What we got inside? Anything good? Another footlocker. Hopefully we're not being caught on camera right now. A small dusty box of some sort. Oh, it's a TV dinner. Okay. We'll take all that. You know what? Now that I think of it, since we looted that cat's paw again, another one, I think maybe someone did write in during our Fallout 1 playthrough. Because I had asked what the heck a cat's paw magazine even was. And I want to say that, in answering me, someone even referenced that it's referred to as pornography in this game. In Fallout 2, specifically. I feel like it's coming back to mind. After all this time. 
All right, good. Should we quick save in case like something horrible happens upon entering one of these little storage areas? I'm assuming these are just all water chips. <laughs> yeah, that's fucking great. <laughs> Man, what a great like slapstick physical comedy, like prop comedy joke. Okay. That's extremely good. Oh, look. I love that the footlockers are, like, hidden around here, too. Now, this one's just got noodles and TV dinners, though. It's nothing too good. How about over here? More water chips. Yep. Anything in the bathroom? Oh, yeah, look. I forgot about their lockers. Whoa, an empty hypodermic needle. It's an empty hypodermic. Cosmetics case. This is a genuine Mary May brand cosmetics case. And some Radex. We'll take it. Okay. Did we miss out on other little openable wall lockers? I don't think so. I feel like I would have seen it, but maybe I did. Oh, this door's stuck as well. Okay. This one's locked. There we are. That said, you know what? With these locked doors, I bet I could blow them open. You know? I bet I could do that. Though I'm kind of hesitant to do it while we've still got, like, quests and stuff going on here. Whoa! A scout's handbook? Look at all this free shit! Oh, man, I can't even carry it. Okay, uh, here, Cassidy, dude, you want some porn? <laughs> I mean, he's already got a nice little collection of porn right there. Here, have some makeup, have some TV dinner, pornography. You want a water chip while <laughs> we're at it? Hell yeah. How about one of these? You want a red pass? Uh, what else can we give you? How about one of the yellow ones? Take some noodles, some cola. Perfect. Got anything else we gotta pass over? A fun little flower. Some nasty ball sack looking root. Okay, good. It's gotta be said, Xander Loot Xander Root looks way more pleasant in New Vegas. <laughs> it does not look nearly as disturbing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's take all this junk. Can I can I just take all? Yeah, yeah. Wonderful. I swear they're gonna be watching me and they're gonna like be like, hey, this guy, he's fucked up. He's in here taking all of our water chips. <laughs> okay, I oh, cannot get there. What is that? It's a basic footlocker. Oh, it's on. It's in the other room. I see. Okay, let's pop the inventory. Let's read our scout's handbook. Excellent. What's our outdoorsman at now? 29. Not great, but not horrible. This thing keeps rattling and staticking. An air vent supplying processed clean air to the entire vault complex. You can hear a faint rattle from inside the vent. Oh, really? Can I do something with that? Can I, like, pry it open? I don't know. No? <laughs> I don't know. Okay. Can we pop this door? It's locked. It's quick save in case I mess up the, the door. There we are. Great. Okay. Should we just carefully check every one of these, just in case one actually is not a bunch of water chips? It's, it's like something else. Alright, good. Over here. Nothing. How about this? Hey, it's a wrench! Perfect, we need that. Oh, it's a weapon! A typical wrench used by mechanics. Take the tools, too. 
Can I hold the others? Nah. Okay. Anything else? Let's see over here. Got that. Bunch of chips. Okay. Sure. Alright. Fine. Well, that's everything here. I suppose when next we come back, we'll continue exploring. We will go down to the lower level. We got the wrench to turn in as well. We've also got a car to get uh, picked up and repaired over at the den, right? We might be able to blow these doors open with explosives. I don't even know. Like I said, I, I definitely want to do it or try it. Oh, that said, would we be able to explode them? Now that I think about because if this is like a vault that's in really good shape, like the whole point is that it's meant to stand up against explosives, right? Would it even work? I don't know. That said, we are on the inside. You know, the exterior is meant to withstand a blast in radiation. Like these ins insular doors. Maybe not. I don't know. Either way, I guess when next we come back, we can test it out. I'm a little fearful of doing it while we've still got quests here, though, like I said. But, uh, there's very obviously goodies. Right, there's... How many? One? Or... No, two... Areas that we need to access. As well as figure out the mystery of the rattling vents. Alright. Until next time, please, take care of each other. And it's high, high day, the army's on its way. Hello, but Kate is out of